Hi, Betsy DeWitt and Tanya Anderson here with Makeup Eraser. Today we're going to be going over a brief history of Makeup Eraser. I discovered the product actually at a bridal show June 6th of 2013 and was unaware of the developments of Makeup Eraser at that time. And Tanya can maybe talk a little bit about where they came from before the bridal show. Well, so years ago, uh, my daughter was um, getting out of her swimming pool and she was wearing a very high-end luxury bathrobe that she put on. And in the process of that, she wiped her eye. And she looked down and noticed that there was some waterproof mascara on her sleeve. And of course, uh, being as brilliant as she is, light bulbs went off. And so she um, you know, started talking with family and saying, I, I think I've got a way to remove women's makeup. We started researching polyester and eventually came up with our own proprietary blend that we found actually removed all waterproof mascaras. So originally that was our goal. And then we found, wow, this also removes any kind of makeup. We found it removed waterproof eyeliners, lipsticks, blushes, foundations, uh, again, high definition makeup. Stage, and so, costume, yes, theater. Yeah. So we started realizing, oh, we've got something real here. So um, we started uh, making it. And of course, we were doing that in-house. And before we knew it, matter of fact, you bought one of the original in-house makeup erasers. Yes, I did. Uh, at that time, they didn't even, they weren't rounded. They were squared. Um, they were sewn just on the outer edge. There was no trim on it. And um, I remember you being at the very first trade show. Of course, we had no clue that this is where it was going to go or that you and I would be standing here together. Um, we were just really excited at that bridal show. And of course, we did the same routine that we do now, which was people would walk by and we would say, have you ever heard of the makeup eraser? And of course, no one had ever heard of the makeup eraser. So, but they didn't know that and we knew that, but they didn't know that. And so that was our, that was kind of what we went with every show, anything that we did, we would say to people, have you ever heard of the makeup eraser? And then of course, when Lexi, my daughter started to make um, the banners that we were going to do for that show, she thought, I'm just going to add distributors wanted. And that's where, that's where you kind of came in. And yeah. so you can see where it's grown from there and where we're at now and, uh, how many locations and how many units have been sold. And, and, and I can tell you, I was at that trade show with my mother, and my mother, knowing I've, I've got a little bit of an entrepreneurial spirit, had seen this makeup eraser booth and thought, if this thing works, it is going to be a worldwide sensation. And she talked to, I think it was Daniel, somebody mm -hmm, at the yep. booth, and had said, I think my daughter should really take a look at this. A little skeptical, right, as most people are when they hear the makeup eraser and how simple it is for the first time. I actually purchased three makeup erasers. I bought one for my daughter, my mother, and myself. When we all responded with the same positive reaction, I knew it was a worldwide sensation. Three generations of women do not generally like a the beauty product. product the same way and have the same reaction and the same gravitational pull to, the, to a beauty product. So I knew it was going to be a huge hit. So that's when I got involved with the company. And I remember getting the phone call from Betsy, and I remember I was at uh, Lexi's house, and you wanted 100 units. And we were, we were thrilled, 100 units, that's fantastic. You know, mind you, we'd only sold a couple thousand. So hearing you wanting, you know, 100 units, we knew we were on to something. And then before we know it, I think it was less than a week. I you sold needed, 100 units. Yeah, it was, and you needed 100 more. And I would like to explain, I have absolutely no sales background. I've got an advertising <laughs> and marketing background. And I did do a little bit of sales business to business, never done direct sales, never done an MLM, any sort of uh, direct sales or end user sales. And so the the product for me sold itself. I loved it so much and was so passionate about it. It was easy to talk about. And of course, because everybody is so skeptical, they tend to sell it for you to their friends and family. <laughs> I, I always joke that when you buy you buy light bulbs at, at Lowe's or somewhere, you, you expect them to work. So you don't call your friends and tell them about it. When you buy a $20 cloth that is going to save and change the way you remove your makeup and save you money, and it actually works and you don't believe it's going to, you tell everybody about it. Before so, you know it, word of mouth. Before is, you know it, word yeah. of mouth takes care of uh, the sales for you. So in a very short period of time, we're talking maybe six months to a year, we get approached by 
the Today Show and Fox News, Fox News, the doctors, everybody is raving about, about this makeup eraser. This makeup eraser. And then obviously we outgrew uh, what we could do at home. So we moved into a manufacturing facility. And of course, at that time, two people probably don't know this either, we had gone through like four colors of pink. And so some people have the coral, the really light baby baby pink, a little bit shade different than this pink, and then of course this pink is what we settled on. And so people are unaware that there were actually four different shades before we settled on this right. color of pink. And so um, of course we got our first large order in from a manufacturer, and then we, we brought Betsy into the corporate office, and that's when kind of you and I decided it was time to start traveling. Yes. <laughs> and so we started traveling together, and we found that we meshed really well. It was, it was perfect. So we invited people that were interested in it or had already been selling it to come and train with us um, together and learn how to actually approach people at a booth. And we found this woman could bring anybody to a booth anybody and so that's why she of course is number one at uh, training for anything to do with trade shows um, or events or, or anything like that because she can bring anyone to the booth <laughs> so we no, found it kidding. to be a lot <laughs> we found it to be a lot of fun and so we started doing that kind of traveling yep. and now we have sold how many units over well over a million units have been sold worldwide she likes saying it so we I love it I love it two years it, ago so. who would have ever thought when people over are doing a million purples, units over a hundred we have figured out that that has amounted to uh, over a hundred million dollars in savings from makeup using or makeup I'm sorry you're moving products including disposable products the wipes your cleansers the cleansers the the oil based even eye makeup remover it has saved consumers over a hundred million dollars and once people try the makeup eraser, they have told us repeatedly that if they've ever had to go back and use a cleanser or use an oily-based product, they are shocked at how much it stings their eyes. Well, well, you know, I've been saying that. I went and helped a distributor um, at a, they were doing a 17-day event. And so they were uh, struggling with getting people into the booth. And this was when it was fairly new. But mind you, I'd been using it long before we um, actually launched. I mean, all of us were using you know, a portion of mm -hmm. uh, a makeup eraser. And so I forgot mine. And of course I didn't grab one from her show either. And I got to my motel room and I used a washcloth. And I, I believe I called you and I said, oh my, I'm welted. I had welts literally on my face. And I said, this is crazy. <laughs> Who could yeah. ever imagine not having their makeup eraser again? And what's funny about that is New Year's Eve, I got a phone call. Um, from one of our distributors who said the same thing. She said, Tanya, I ended up using a washcloth at my motel because I don't know how, but I left my house without a makeup eraser. And I think most people now know if you own one, you'll never go back to something else. You're going to want a second one, a third one. Uh, I well, find a lot of people buy three. They have one for home, one for travel, and one for in their bag yeah. or their purse. But um, it's used for any, I mean, doesn't matter it's a needed product everybody needs it well people don't understand how irritating the oils and washcloths are because I think naturally we build a tolerance up to that to, for that and so when you go back after being so spoiled with the Cadillac the, well, yeah exactly <laughs> you know whatever <laughs> with how soft it is um, with how soft it is and the fact that it is water only you, you'll be if you ever have to go back you don't want to you don't want to you will be amazed at how irritating those chemicals and the oil based, uh, especially around the eyes. No, after I removed is. my makeup that night, I thought I should or have how slept rough in your it. Washcloth well, is. I should have yeah. slept in it. That's what I thought to myself is I'd have been better off if I'd have slept in my makeup. Yes. So I obviously will never forget my, my makeup eraser again, regardless of where I'm going. But so that's, we tell everybody if you're traveling, put it in your purse. If you're traveling, put it in your suitcase. That way you never have Ride to worry about it. Ride put it in your saddlebag. <laughs> yeah. We did, a, we did a few shows that included uh, Sturgis. So, yeah. So that's kind of where the makeup racer has gone, where it's headed. Uh, we're in thousands of retail locations, uh, 58 countries. Um, been featured on several magazine articles, including Elle. Cosmopolitan. Uh, Cos Cosmo. Lucky. Yeah, Lucky. I forgot about Lucky. Mm -hmm. um, 17. Did 17 recently? The Makeup Artist. Yeah. 17. Yep, Makeup Artist Magazine. There has been a lot of buzz about the Makeup Eraser. So if you didn't all know that, now you do. Uh, do a little research. You can Google us, of course, and you will find it everywhere. Thank you.
Thank you.